AI totally got me canceled. It happened yesterday. I'm going to tell you the story in today's video. We're going to talk about the, all the other companies that you need to cancel. If you're an AI cancel person, you got a lot of people you got to cancel. I'm going to give you the list in here. And we're going to let AI defend itself for stealing other people's stuff, stealing people's copy, stealing people's code, stealing images. We're going to let AI defend itself uh, in this video. So check it out. It's going to be a fun one. I don't have a lot prepped. I'm just going to be talking through some of the angst that I feel out there from AI and some of it that was directed right at me yesterday. I send out a weekly newsletter every weekend to my audience. I have about 10,000 email subscribers and I send a value email. And yesterday it was a pep talk for people going through a hard time in their freelance business. It stemmed from a conversation I had with somebody in my community, More Creative Academy. And so I wrote up that article in article format and in the image I used this image in the newsletter that was a stressed out graphic designer. And I um, used Dolly 3 image generator to create the image. Now, I knew that some people were gonna wanna hate on me for using AI. So I even put in this disclaimer right here. This image was created using Dolly 3 and ChatGPT. I realize that there is a contingent of creatives very opposed to using AI in their workflow. I have adopted the mindset that AI tools are not going away and every creative should be experimenting with ways to use them in their work. Don't hate on me for using them. Instead, put your, put your energy into figuring out how to use them yourself. That's my little disclaimer. But I knew, I knew that somebody was gonna come with some angst and I got a message back from somebody who said, uh, here's the message. If you're going to steal work from other creatives, then I'm going to unsubscribe. And I was like, ah, that's, I knew it was going to happen. I knew there was going to be at least the one person. I actually expected more. I haven't gotten more people who sent me a message like that. Anyway, my response was, okay, sorry to see you go. Now, if you are going to cancel me, that's what that is. I mean, I got canceled for using AI. Canceled. Canceled subscription. Literally canceled. I got canceled for using AI. Um, you got a, a lot of other people and companies that you've got to cancel, and I'm gonna go through that list. My first thought, though, when this came through was, did I do something wrong? Did I take someone else's work and pass it off as my own, or did I let AI generate an image based on references? And I started to think, what's the, ethical side of this and i and i see both sides i mean i see it if you're an illustrator which i, I researched this person who sent me that message and and canceled me um and he he seemed like he was illustration centric and i get why that's more um what's the word it's more intense if you're an illustrator and you feel like ai is just combing your work and throwing it out there to other people I don't know if that's what actually happens. We're gonna to talk to AI about that and see how it does that process and how it um, justifies its ethics. Um, anyway, so let's keep going here. I knew that was gonna happen and I thought at first, I need to do a collab with somebody. I wanna do a collab video with somebody who defends the other side of using AI. I, I'm like on the fence on this thing. The reason I'm using it is because it's built into freaking everything. It, Adobe has adopted it widely across all of its apps. And so I'm like, this isn't going away. I got to figure it out. But how does AI justify the plagiarism or the copying or whatever it's doing to generate images for us or to generate copy or code or responses to emails or fixing our notes and fixing our grammar or mathematics. I mean, you don't even need, like a calculator has been AI for a long time. We used to use a freaking abacus or write it down and carry the one. It used to be that. So um, AI has been merging itself into our lives in significant ways for years and years, decades. Okay, so this video has two parts two parts. The first part is I got canceled by AI here for you. Those of you who think that that's justifiable, I should get canceled. Here's the list of all the other companies that you need to cancel. I'm going to give you that coming up. And then the second part is our conversation 
where AI is going to justify its own plagiarism and its own stealing, and we're going to see how it responds to that. All right, let's go dig in first to your companies to cancel. Using reference images has been something that has been consistent in art forever. I, I was talking to someone yesterday about this and the idea of Monet and Manet using impressionist style um, art, art. I have a minor in art history. I have a major in um, studio art. That's my major from college. And so I, I spent all the time in classes and in reference images and seeing a picture and using that as my reference image to create my piece of art. And you see it in music as well. Ed Sheeran was on trial for um, allegedly stealing a guitar chord progression. And he won that battle showing that the chord progression had been used for tons and tons of time, that it wasn't a plagiarism thing. So you see this out there. You see people wanting this. We can't use references. We can't use reference art. We have to use, has to all be original. But the truth is we all use references in the creation of the things. A lot of those references come from things in our head that we saw or heard. A lot of them come from something we see out there in, we're, you know, I, doing landscape art and you can see people out there using the actual nature as a reference image. I know that that's not AI and that's not what we're talking about here, but using a reference image, where does it draw the line on what's okay to use and what's not okay to use? Now, I know that a lot of people feel like AI is stealing their work. It goes and combs Behance or Dribble and compiles something and spits it back out. And allegedly you can find the original somewhere. I guess. I mean, I don't know. We're going to find out from ChatGPT. Anyway, let's go down the list of if you're going to cancel me for using AI, an AI generated image in my newsletter, then here are the other people you have to cancel. Adobe Firefly is Adobe's AI image generator. Let's just write a little prompt inside of Adobe Firefly. Let's make it a skull and crossbones for use on a pirate flag. That's gonna be our prompt. And we're gonna try that prompt in a few different places. And we can see here that Adobe is gonna spit back to us some options through Adobe Firefly. And if this, okay, here we go. And this is pretty cool, some good, good response here. Now, where did Adobe Firefly get this style of skull and crossbones. Is it somebody else's art somewhere? Is it a hybrid combination of multiple pieces of art the same way that we use these things in our own creation of art? Where did it get the paint style, the, the coloring style, the background style? Can we find these mountains somewhere else? And if so, is this not allowed to be used because these mountains were in some other piece of art, the shape of these mountains or the waves here or something? I don't know. So let's take that. And we, right now we're looking at Adobe and Adobe's pretty obvious that we need to cancel Adobe because of this. But if that's not enough, let's go into Adobe Photoshop, which has generative fill. And we're gonna go into Photoshop right here. And oh, by the way, I have on here the image. Look, this is the image that I had Dolly 3 create. This is the one that got me canceled. Um, but let's go in here and type in that same prompt. We're gonna type in here, skull and crossbones for use on a pirate flag. And we're gonna see what Adobe's Photoshop's built-in AI outputs for us. Here we go, couple seconds, couple seconds. Stay with me, Stay oh. Okay, there we go. Now, is this not allowed to be used? We have a couple of variations that we can look at as well. We have this one and we have this one. Now, admittedly, none of these are very good, but it doesn't mean the fact that, um, is it plagiarizing somebody else's work? I don't know. This one looks like little kid art, or you could see this hanging in the Louvre. Um, <laughs> don't get me started 
on that. So anyway, what is justifiable here and, and can we use these? Well, we shouldn't be using Photoshop. If you're going to cancel me, you can't not cancel Photoshop, obviously. I mean, Photoshop has this ability to generate art built into it. So you can't cancel me without canceling Photoshop. Let's go back and let's look at Adobe Illustrator. Maybe, maybe we can keep Adobe, but we have to cancel Photoshop and Firefly. We definitely are never going to use Firefly, but let's go and see what we're going to use for Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to go ahead and type in here the same prompt, skull and crossbones, and we're going to let AI's text to vector graphic generate a skull and crossbones for us. Here comes the results. Um, and from Adobe Illustrator, oh, we got some cool stuff here. So if you look at, now I didn't give it a size, so we can zoom this up. We have that one. Um, we have some variations of this. We have this one right here, this one. All these are pretty cool. I'm gonna go with, I don't know, let's say this one. And now all of a sudden I have vector art from Adobe Illustrator that I can go and start tweaking. Now, where did Adobe Illustrator get this imagery? Did it make it up or is it um, stealing from somebody else? I don't know. We're going to ask in a minute. We're going to ask AI about that. But the point here is if you cancel me for using an AI generated image in my newsletter, you need to stop using Adobe Illustrator. It's making this way too easy to use AI generated imagery. So cancel Illustrator, cancel Photoshop, cancel Adobe Firefly. And I think that's probably enough to just say, you gotta cancel Adobe. You can't just cancel me, cause that's like targeting. But if this is really about AI, then cancel Adobe as well. So what are you gonna use instead? Well, we're gonna use Canva. Let's use Canva because you can use Canva. Oh, oh, no, wait a second. Canva, free online AI image generator. Now I don't use Canva, I don't have a Canva uh, account, so I'm not gonna log in and, and look at this, but it definitely has an AI image generator on here. So we can't use Canva. So you're gonna leave Adobe, that we've already agreed on. You're gonna not be able to go to Canva, so where are you gonna go? I think there's really only one art option left and it's Affinity. And I know some people who use Affinity and like it. And I did do a little research and found that I don't know that Affinity has any AI built into it other than so auto selecting stuff, um, you know, text on path, things that there's, there's artificial intelligence in doing that, but it's not generating images. So I'm gonna say this for now, you can use. So you have to cancel Adobe, you have to cancel or not use Canva, but you can use Affinity. So drop in the chat, those of you who agree to canceling Adobe for making AI too easy, drop in the chat and make your commitment to using Affinity from now on, or don't cancel me. Those are your two options. Okay, next thing, let's take down some of these obvious ones. We've got ChatGPT. ChatGPT, obviously you've got to cancel ChatGPT. Now who's the big, investor behind ChatGPT, it's Microsoft and a whole lot of other people. And Dolly 3, which is an image generator, is built now into ChatGPT. We could go into Dolly 3 and type our prompt right here, Dolly 3 and ChatGPT, and we're going to see the skull and crossbones for use on a pirate flag and see what Dolly 3 gives us. I don't know why I call it Dolly 3. It's just Dolly, but it's version 3, as we can see on here probably be calling it dolly four in like a day so this image is almost done rendering and we can see what dolly image generation does for us the point i'm making here though is no matter what it does image generation is built in here and allegedly it's stealing art from from you out there who are mad um, so you can't use it if you're going to cancel me, you have to not use this. I mean, that's only fair. Let's be realistic. That's only fair. You can't target me for using an AI generated image in my newsletter and not target the entire company that makes that possible, which is what I used here. I used Dolly 3 inside of 
chat GPT for just like we see happening right here. This one's taking a little bit, so must be busy. Uh, must be busy today. I'm gonna click regenerate and see if it gives us another another prompt. We'll come back to that in a minute, and we'll go through a couple of others that you need to cancel. Obviously, Mid Journey image generation. You cannot use Mid Journey now. Here's where we get into a little bit of a sticky situation because Google just released Google Gemini, which is an AI from Google, and it's a big deal. And some people already say that it is better than ChatGPT. This is Google Gemini. So I'm going to say here, if you cancel me, you're going to have to start using a different search engine because you're going to have to cancel Google because Google's going all in on AI. So what are you going to use? Now, we'll go back to that. Let's see if Dolly gave us our images. Here they come. Here's our skull and crossbones from Dolly. It was pretty cool. I don't know where it got it, but it looks pretty cool. The point of this is, and this one's cool too, the point of this is that you can't use Dolly or ChatGPT in your life. If you are a cancel Mike Janda person, then you can't use these either. So we got that, we got that. Dolly 3 and ChatGPT, obviously you're not allowed to use those. You're not allowed to use Midjourney, obviously, because it generates images. You're not allowed to use Google because Google is welcoming in the entire Gemini era in on its AI. So what are you gonna use instead of Google? You could use Bing. Oh no, Bing has ChatGPT built into it and Microsoft is going all in on AI. A new era of AI has arrived. Explore how Microsoft is empowering the world to achieve more with AI. Okay, so you can't use Google, you can't use um, Microsoft, so sell your PC. What are you gonna use? Well, you could use Apple. You could use Apple, thank goodness. Okay, we have Macs, we have Mac OS, oh no. Oh no, inside Apple's big plan to bring generative EI to all its devices. Crap. So we can't use Google, we can't use Microsoft, we can't use Apple. What are we gonna use? We're gonna have to go to Linux. I mean, you're gonna have to use Linux and you're gonna have to use Affinity on Linux. If you're gonna cancel me, Affinity on Linux is where you're gonna be in what you are allowed to use. Let's go and look and see, oh no, the topic AI and machine learning is the very first thing on top of Linux. And so they are doing some stuff. I didn't reach, research this very deeply, but I'm gonna say for now, if you cancel me for using an AI generated image in my newsletter, I will accept your usage of Linux and Affinity on Linux. Now is Affinity even available on Linux? That I don't know. I'm not going to waste our time looking for it because it's not my problem that you have. You have to solve this problem. You've got to go and figure out how to get Linux installed on your machine and then get some kind of art based tool. Maybe you use iPads, but there's a lot of AI inside of Procreate and, and stuff as well. Um, okay. So those are some of the businesses that you have to cancel. You got to cancel them. It's only fair you cancel me. It's only fair that you cancel the businesses that are making this available to us. So let me know in the comments that you fulfilled the assignment. I mean, don't cancel me. Don't make it so targeted because it makes me feel bad about myself when in reality, this is everywhere. And I believe that you need to start figuring out how to use it in your workflow but if you want to spend your energy canceling me, then I get that. I get it. I get it. You don't want your artwork to be stolen. I get it. So cancel me, but cancel all of the other businesses too, because that's only fair. That's only fair. All right, let's talk with ChatGPT about how it justifies its own plagiarism. Let's check this out and see what it has to say for itself. All right, I'm going to go here with ChatGPT4, the latest and greatest in ChatGPT. I'm going to make this a little bigger for you. I'm going to move my old stuff off the screen, and now I'm going to share my screen. You can see what we're looking at here. Okay, let's do this. Um, hey, ChatGPT, I had, I had someone unsubscribe subscribe from my newsletter for me using 
a Dolly 3 image and they accused me of stealing. What do you have to say for yourself? All right. Let's check this out and see what ChatGPT says. I'm sorry to hear about the issue you faced. It's important to clarify that as an AI developed by OpenAI, I adhere to strict guidelines and policies regarding image generation and content creation. The images created by the Dolly 3 model, or Dolly model, which I use to generate visual content, are original works produced based on the prompts provided by users. These images are not sourced from existing artworks or photographs, but are generated anew each time a request is made. If there's a concern about the originality or the rights associated with an image generated by Dolly, it's crucial to understand that these images are created by the AI without copying or replicating specific existing works. However, they can sometimes resemble existing styles or themes purely by coincidence due to the vast amounts of visual data that AI has been trained on. In cases where an image is mistakenly identified as a copy, or if there's an accusation of stealing, it's often due to misunderstanding of how AI generated artworks. These images are meant to be used within the scope of the guidelines provided by OpenAI, and they are generated with the intention of being original creations. If you need any specific information or assistance regarding a particular image or situation, feel free to ask, and I'll do my best to provide clarity or guidance. Gosh. You know what? That's good enough for me. I thought I was going to have to have some kind of conversation with AI and really get on its case. Um, let's let's say, let's try that a little. Let's say um, you are a thief. You are a thief for stealing images from others. Boom. Let's see what it has to say about that. I understand your concerns about the originality of ownership by AI. Here we go. It's giving us almost the exact same response. Original artwork created by AI, according to AI itself. Now, those of you that watch Terminator and know that Skynet is probably gonna lie to us or sitting there thinking, that's not true, Skynet, Skynet, they're liars. They're gonna lie to us and they're gonna justify stealing the artwork. They're not gonna tell you that they did that. I guess so. Um, let's just ask, let's ask chat GPT. Are you lying to me about this? Let's see. No, I'm not lying. My responses are based on the current understanding of the design of AI technology, specifically the Dolly 3 model developed by OpenAI. This technology generates images based on a vast array of learned visual data, creating a new composition in response to user prompts. These generated images are not copies of existing works. They are original creations made by the AI. All right, and a couple other paragraphs that I'm not gonna waste our time reading. I'm satisfied with that response, and I'm actually surprised at how eloquent that was and um, how clear. It isn't stolen artwork. It is new artwork, according to Skynet and the Terminators who are coming for you. So anyway, this was, for me, I don't know, I, I sound ranty in this video, I know. I just get riled up sometimes when uh, somebody cancels me. I've had people cancel me before in the comments, cancel me based on whatever social things that they're mad about or something. Um, I try, I, I don't try, I'm a good person. I'm not out there trying to steal other people's stuff. I don't steal other people's content. All the content I create is new based off of my own prompts and inspiration, based on what I learned throughout my creative career. And I'm learning now, how do I generate or use AI inside of my workflow? And you should be figuring out the same things. You should be trying to figure this out because it is not going away. It's only gonna become more prevalent. We didn't even get into video editing and audio editing and text to voice and stuff like that, that is all AI as well. I mean, it's a crazy world out there. And if you bury your head in the sand about AI, you're gonna be in trouble. You gotta figure out how to use this in your workflow. And if you're gonna cancel me, go cancel all those other companies too. Adobe, Google, Microsoft, and Apple, at least. And you gotta use Linux and you gotta use Affinity because you can't use Canva. Those are some of my thoughts for you. Okay, hope you like this video. Hopefully it gives you some things to think about. Uh, in relation to AI and thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again in another video soon.